What's up, guys? Good morning. Uh, getting a little late start this morning. Um, it was it was quite the eventful morning when I got to the golf course this morning. I uh, I was about 10 minutes late for my tee time, and uh, so they went ahead and told me to tee off. Well, I ended up uh, in the middle of a women's league, and uh, if you <laughs> you just uh, you know, an awkward position to be in, and fortunately. Um, about the second hole, we just realized the pace of play wasn't going to work and wasn't going to fit. And um, so, anyway, heads up to the the superintendent was uh, was to make sure that I didn't receive blame for that. But uh, kind of goes on with today's topic um, of forgiveness. It's not one of my uh, not one of my favorite. Uh, things to talk about either but uh, that's what we're going to talk about this morning. I'm going to hit a fairway real quick and I'll be right back. Nice three wood, best one I've had today. So we're gonna go ahead and drive up here. But uh, anyways, um, we're, we're gonna talk about forgiveness today. And uh, gosh, you know we we say it in the Lord's prayer all the time. You know, uh, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And I think we, for me personally, I always get the forgive me part. But it's that second part. Forgive, uh, forgive the trespasses of others against us. And man, that's that's it's a funny story for me. Is so I played a lot of basketball in high school. I really liked it. It was it was my favorite my favorite sport. And uh, when I was growing up, the the phrase was "my bad." You know, when you messed up, you just said "my bad," and then you went on and uh, kind of just no big deal but when somebody else messes up and they were like oh my, my, my bad you know um to you it means hey i'm sorry i know i made a mistake let's move on but when somebody else does it and they say my bad you're a little hesitant to throw the ball to them next time or um you know do you really do you really forgive them <laughs> and i realize that's a that's a petty thing to be talking about you know basketball and mess ups but in life it's the same way think about uh your parents, whenever you messed up as a kid, man, you you just said sorry and you expected to be forgiven and, and move on. Now, when your kids mess up now in your life and they say you're sorry, do you really do you really just let them forgive and move on? And um, I just think that's a it's it's interesting when when it's us asking for forgiveness, we expect it right away. But when someone asks us for forgiveness or we're supposed to grant them forgiveness it's uh it's a lot tougher um luke 23 34 jesus said father forgive them for they know not what they do jesus was a perfect example here of uh, the times that we're in there are a lot of people doing just stupid wrong stuff right now in today's world for whatever their justified uh, reason is and whatever cause they feel like they're doing it for um, the destruction of someone else's property is never right. Um, the killing of someone is never right. And so we, we justify it. And, and we, watch, we watch this happen around us. And inside of us burns this pride, this anger, and sometimes it burns hate. And, uh, you know, Jesus is a great example. He could have... He could have hated the people that did him wrong, the people that talked bad about him, that um, murdered his friends and family. But he set the perfect example for us to, to forgive. And not even people that ask for forgiveness, but, but people that um, definitely didn't deserve forgiveness in, in our eyes, in our mind. 
Um, but he granted them and he gave them forgiveness before they even asked for it. Um, when I look around and I see everything that's going on, the riots and um, the political division and just the hatred towards each other, um, you know, we have to forgive. We have to forgive them, um, especially if they're wrong. And we know they're wrong. And sometimes we're wrong. But um, in those situations where this stuff is going on, um, forgiveness is going to be vital because what's going to happen down the road is the people that are doing these things now, um, eventually they're going to feel a sense of guilt about that. Maybe next week, maybe next month, maybe two or three years down the road. They're going to feel that guilt. And if we show them forgiveness and, for, and, and love, then that guilt will be smoothed away. Um, and that's exactly what that's exactly what Christ does for us when we when we ask for forgiveness. Uh, but if we don't forgive these people, eventually, when their guilt starts to eat at them, they're going to have so much pain in their life and so much guilt that they're going to do more, more harm to themselves, more harm to their environment, their families, their friends, their country. Um, we really have to be prepared to, to offer them forgiveness when they are at that point where that guilt starts to really do that. Because at some point, we all know this, when, we've, when, when I've done wrong, whatever it was, um, at some point my conscience kicks in. Now, if you're healthy, your conscience kicks in right away before you do it, you don't do it. Um, but if you're at a weak point, your conscience won't kick in for a while. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm certain that the things that are going on today with the riots and the protests and the destruction, the guilt will hit them at some point. And when it hits them, we have to show them forgiveness before it ever hits them. Um, we don't have to forget. We don't have to, we don't have to um, put them in situations where they can offend again. But we do have to forgive. And um, because if we don't, we don't do that. We don't offer them. Then it is a downward, downward spiral. Um, that it's just going to continue to separate people from God, and that is the last thing that we should be doing um, as 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 believers in Christ. So, um, guys, for forgiveness is a is a horrible topic when it's applied to other people. When it's applied to us, it's a very pleasant topic. And um, so, I challenge you this week to uh, to grant forgiveness before they ask for it and um, you know you think you look back in your past relationships um, I remember you know a, a relationship of mine and and she blatantly just told me um, that she couldn't move on until she forgave me and I, I think as we as a world um, are not going to be able to move on until we forgive each other um, and I'm not talking about stuff generations in the past that's 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 irrelevant right now I'm talking about stuff happened today that in years to come um, people are going to be dealing with guilt in that and I, I just think that that's a that's a huge aspect for for me to realize and to learn from as we go through there so thank you for joining me um, this morning for for a little golf and God uh, you know to the ladies group that uh, I was placed in the middle of today please please forgive me know that it wasn't my fault and uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see you next Tuesday don't forget to uh, to share this podcast uh, in this live stream, it means a lot to uh, to people sometimes to just hear words from from someone besides a pastor or a, or a teacher, just a, just an average dude out playing golf. So, uh, anyways, I hope you all have a good day and uh, bless you. We'll talk to you later. Bye.